Wow, 200,000 subscribers. That is unbelievable to me. First off, gotta say thank you to each and every single one of you guys out there for supporting my dream. This has been a huge passion of mine my entire life, building dirt bikes, and I couldn't do this whole YouTube thing without you guys. All right, for 200,000 subscribers, I thought I'd tell you guys a little story of how I got started with YouTube and just building bikes in general. And then also, I got a giveaway for you guys later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. All right, so how I got started with dirt bikes was when I was around eight or nine years old, my two brothers and I, Austin and Devin, all three of us pulled our money together and went and bought, I think it was a 79 XR80, uh, $120, so a really cheap bike. And we all shared it for a couple years and then um, we sold it. All three of us got our own bikes after that. And we just each had to pay our own way with dirt bikes and hobbies. So of course, we were always trying to find the uh, cheapest way to fix bikes and build them and continue riding. And that's really what started the, the whole passion with um, riding motorcycles and fixing them. As most of you guys can tell, I'm very particular how my bikes look. And so I think that all started from my dad. He's always been very organized, very tidy about his work. And that all transferred into my own work. And as far as dirt bikes in particular, uh, for me, just seeing bikes in magazines, at the races, online, on forums, uh, Instagram, I've kind of just taken it all as a whole, put a little twist on it, and came up with my own style when it comes to building bikes. I would say if there's one inspiration for most of my bikes, it's the factory Honda bikes. They always look super clean. Nothing way over the top with colors or with graphics. It's always like a clean, simple look, but it's still that factory bike. I don't think there's anything that beats a factory Honda machine. All right, so YouTube, how did I start with filming the videos you guys see now? So this began back in around 2009, must have been around 15 or 16 when I started my account. Just started posting videos of riding pit bikes, uh, playing around with dirt bikes and whatnot. You guys can still go back and see those videos. They're still up even for the very first one. It was a couple years, must have been around 2010 or 11 before I started or I filmed my first like how to or like working on dirt bikes video. That was how to change a tire. And the inspiration behind that one was I was trying to find the best or the most efficient way to change a dirt bike tire online. I would look on Google, look on YouTube, never really found a really comprehensive video or tutorial on it. So I thought I'd put one together myself. And that first one is horrible. I'll admit it. It's still up. You guys can go watch it. But as soon as I filmed that video and put it up online, I was like, this is really cool. I love being able to uh, help people out. And for me, it's always been, when I put together information, or when I put together a video, that information becomes more clear in my own head. And it like breaks down the steps even more simple. And it's, for me, it, it helps me out mostly. And I'm sure it helps you guys out too. But ever since that first video, I was hooked. I was like, I wanna do more of this. So I started doing powder coated videos, how to build wheels, um, the whole CRF 70 pit bike build where I took a stock 70, took it all the way apart, very similar to this bike, um, did a bunch of powder coating work and upgrades and just made it look really cool, put it all back together in like a seven or eight video series. That was awesome. I ended up doing that for my, I think that was my high school senior project. And that's really what got it started some of the deeper inspiration behind it was growing up i was always a super shy kid never really had much confidence couldn't look you in the eye if i was talking to you much less look into the lens of a camera and so i figured you know what i need to do something to help this out help myself out and so filming videos was kind of the the therapy for that and on top of that being able to help people out online and connect with people over dirt bikes was it was a win-win like I thought it was the coolest thing ever and still to this day like I'm just blown away at how cool this whole platform is the whole experience of um, sharing and connecting online it's there's truly nothing better like I wouldn't want to do anything else so I think it was around 2011 2012 I was filming basically every week posting videos every week and then I decided to quit I still don't really remember why I quit filming them 
and I quit for about five years from 2012 all the way up to 2017. There was a lot going on. I was working in my other business, Parting Out Bikes, that was Revive Moto. I also bought a house, trying to get this place set up so I could work into it. I don't know why I quit. I should have really, that's my one regret. I should have kept going. Imagine if I was filming those whole five years of you guys saw me when I was in high school and then there was a five year gap where you didn't see me and then all of a sudden I'm you know, 24, 25 and it would have been so cool to be able to film all the way through that process. That's the one regret I have. But anyways, started filming again in 2017 and you know, two years later, here I am still enjoying the heck out of it. And so why I came back to YouTube, why I started filming again was honestly, I just missed it. And I was kind of getting tired of parting out bikes. I've been doing that since I was about 12. So at that point, it was I was 12 years into that business. I was 24. I was getting kind of over the whole parting out the bike business. And I always had the YouTube channel kind of on the back burner. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to start this again. I'm going to go full throttle ahead, do everything I can. And within, I think it was around eight months, I went from having no income with YouTube to it being my full-time job. I was really blown away and just kept building and building and building. And then obviously you guys remember last year I ended up getting sick, got leukemia and that kind of had to throw all things back a little bit. But now that we're healthy again, we're going to kick some more butt. I'm just, everything's looking up right now. I am really excited. And to bring it up to this point right now where we're at 200,000 subscribers, that is unreal to me. I mean, only nine, eight or nine months ago, I was at 100,000 subscribers. So it's doubled in just a short period of time. It's really cool to see the growth of it. But more so for me is just the impact I can have. Like I'm able to help so many people around the world and have an impact. And having me going through cancer and everything, that was something even greater. Like it, I think it connected everyone brought everyone together and I was able to help a lot of people through sharing that story as well. Not only was I into dirt bikes like all of you guys out there, but I'm sure most of you know someone that's been through cancer as well. And to put the two together, just that whole thing really bonded everyone together. It was such a cool experience and something I'll never forget. Like that truly changed my life. So anyways, that's the YouTube story. That's how we got started with bikes. And once again, just gotta say big thank you to each and every single one of you out there from the bottom of my heart for supporting my dream, watching the videos, subscribing, sharing, um, supporting me through my illness. Just on and on it goes. Like I can't say thank you enough. So we're almost 10 years deep into this YouTube thing. So don't expect me to go anywhere. A lot of cool things are coming your way soon. All right, time to give some shit away. So here's what we got. First up is a Tusk billet rear rotor guard. This fits on the CR125, CR250, CRF250s, and 450s from, let me think, 2002 all the way up to 2019. So that's number one. Number two is gonna be Cerakote trim coat. So I'm picking three different winners. I got three different prizes here. Um, second one is Cerakote Trim Coat, one of my favorite products I've been using lately. Restores plastic, uh, faded plastic back to a new shine. Um, this stuff is absolutely insane. Lasts up to 200 washes. So that's prize number two. And prize number three is from my own company, Prime MX. So over on Prime MX, I sell these cleaning pads you guys have seen throughout the videos. I sell hats, t-shirts, stickers, a um, bunch of cool stuff over there. So I'm giving away a $50 gift card to my store, primemx.com. So that's prize number three. And all you guys have to do to enter to win these prizes is go down below in the description. And there's a link that you click on. You enter your name and your email address. That's it. I'm not trying to raffle anything off here. I'm not gonna sell your email address. That's the only way I can do giveaways now. I used to have you guys comment down in the comment section, but now with YouTube, you can't send messages on YouTube anymore. 
And so I was having you guys send me messages on Instagram and I was having all these fake people come in saying they won the contest. It was a gigantic mess. So from here on out, the only way I'm doing giveaways is if I get your email address, that way I can contact you directly and there's none of this bullshit with people, you know, faking it. So that's what we're doing from here on out. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this one and I will see you all soon. Keep it prime.